This pandemic has really left us all without steam. You know, it's kind of like this locomotive here. It was being restored before COVID hit. Now, months later, it's finally back on track to its former glory. Here's Ryan Laughlin. The pandemic has affected all of us in some small ways and some really, really big ways, including the life of this 76 year old train. People get the impression it's alive. The pumps chug and talk to you. There's little sounds that the steam makes. And the whole thing has the persona of a living being. Mike Hartshorn is recently retired. It means I'm out to pasture. The former professor of radiology is just like every other person that spends their free time around 2926. Well, I can tell you what I've done, but how it led to here is a mystery. He's a part of the New Mexico Steam Locomotive and Railroad Historical Society, which is an awful thing to learn to say quickly. And for the past 20 years, they've been working to restore this massive steam locomotive that used to call Coronado Park home. At this point, got about 300,000 volunteer hours and three and a half million dollars in this project. It's a bunch of old guys and gals who enjoy each other's company and have a common purpose and uh, are willing to set aside a lot of philosophical, political and religious differences we check all that stuff at the gate. In March, they were preparing for a milestone. We were actually going to steam it up and move it under its own power for the first okay. time since 1953. Couldn't do it. The coronavirus and the public health order stopped them in their tracks. It's been in its own way devastating. Since the governor has loosened restrictions, a small group has resumed work. But they are still waiting until they can bring their entire group back together. Right now, the state public health order limits gatherings to 10 at a time. We want them to all be present when it moves for the first time under its own power in decades. It, it would be really unfair for me to bring a crew of 10 in here and run it and we would enjoy it. And all those other people who've been on the project for decades get cut out. A community project that has endured a lot since this train left the station. We've had uh, one, one gut punch after another and we beat them all. So we'll beat this one too. We'll have to wait a little bit longer for the end of the line. Ryan Laughlin, KOB4.